Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome to What's New in Luxury Fashion this month where I come here and I sit and I tell you about luxury fashion news, collab items, pieces, drops that you need to know about, hot items on the horizon that I think that we'll be seeing more of or things that I just think that you need to know about. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I write videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down and subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Luxury fashion news. So, interesting one to kick it off here. Chanel has announced that they will be showing their 2023 Metier d'Art show, which shows on the 9th of December in Dakar, Senegal. This is exciting stuff. So, Metier d'Art is the collection that tends to be the most expensive of all of their collections because it really is meant to showcase the best of Chanel, the all of the details that their houses can produce and all of that. Chanel is no stranger to sort of worldwide fashion shows. This is very exciting. Look, as somebody who is quarter Ghanaian, I'm always happy when I see more luxury brands kind of taking Africa seriously. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come and I'm sure it will be an incredible show. I'm excited to see it. Now, luxury fashion news number two. We have a rumor as to who may succeed Virgil Abloh as creative director of Louis Vuitton Men's and that is Martine Rose. Martine Rose is a men's fashion designer. I believe she's also British, toot toot. The reason that these rumors have been circulating is because the Louis Vuitton CEO was recently seen front row at her latest show. She has previously worked with Demna at Balenciaga and founded her own label in 2007. I also think that she's been nominated for a few British fashion awards over the last few years as well. So, May we be seeing a woman at the helm of menswear? Let's see. Moving on to new and noteworthy. This is where we talk about new collabs, new drops and all of that. And we've got some interesting ones. Manolo Blahnik and Birkenstocks drop two. So earlier in the year, we saw Manolo and Birkenstock drop their first part of this, which to be honest, we only thought that was the first part. This drop two is news to my ears. And they did so in like two different Birkenstock styles in two really great velvet colours. So you have like this really deep blue and this like very interesting purpley pink. Nice. They sold out as we thought that they would. They have now announced drop two, which is dropping in July, if I'm correct. Yes, I am. Four additional designs. Not my cup of tea. Well, look, I'm not the Birkenstock customer anyway. Like I'm not going to buy from this anyway, but... They're doing a lot of polka dots. Polka dots aren't my favourite. Okay, they just don't do it for me. And also PVC. So they will also be dropping in case you missed out on the first one and you like the designs of the second. Here you go. They're also doing different Birkenstock styles. They've got the Boston style, which they did, which is more of like a closed clog situation. What is this? Apparently this is a clog. Um, and also the Rodra, um, which seems to be more of like a... Well, we also had an announcement of a new Gucci collaboration with Harry Styles. Yes, everybody's favorite young man. Um, look, I don't know if I should be saying this. I don't really get it. Like I, I, I get, you know, he's a nice looking guy. Music's not for me. One Direction wasn't really even for me either, but good for him, good for him. So he's now doing a collaboration with Gucci and this is apparently born out of the friendship between him and creative director Alessandro Michele. And look, we have seen Harry Styles in a lot of Gucci over the last few years. It's a very his style, this sort of 70s, and it lends nicely into the collaboration that they've done together, which is very 70s, very sort of um, questionable prints. The collaboration is actually called Ha Ha Ha. Why do I feel so weird saying that? Which is the initials of both of them, Harry and Alessandro. Ha Ha Ha. Fine. A lot of the classic Gucci bags done in different prints for this collaboration. Again, they're sort of like 70s suits. This isn't really down my alley, but if you're a Harry Styles fan, if you love him, if you worship the ground that this man walks on, you may love every second of this. Next up, as we know, Balenciaga and Crocs working together is no new news to us, okay? They have been tormenting our minds with their collaborations over the last few years, right? They have done a number of Crocs together. Well, they have said, we know that you've seen our Crocs and our shoes and we raise you bags. Yep. 
croc foam bags in a tote version and a phone holder version are retailing for extortionist amount of money for what they are considering that they are in fact crocs foam they're a thing they've done it who asked for it <laughs> no one if i need to know that this exists you need to know that this exists and speaking of collaborations with crocs it was just announced that mcm is also dropping a collaboration with crocs why must they Okay, we also saw that Louis Vuitton Men's is dropping croc-like, foam-like clogs again for autumn winter. I am sick and tired of this and who may I write a strongly worded letter to? Okay, because I don't need to see any more crocs than I'm already seeing. Anyway, so MCM are doing this. From what we've seen of the promo pictures, there seems to be like a, like a chain aspect around the front. Look, I love a chain. You could you could throw a chain on a croc and I'm still not going to buy it. You can put lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig. So, those are my thoughts. Ooh, another rumour is Marc Jacobs and Fendi. The rumour is that a collaboration between the two of them is going to drop in September of this year. Now, this is not new because... Kim Jones and Marc Jacobs have worked together previously at Louis Vuitton where Kim Jones was creative director of men's and Marc Jacobs was creative director of women's. What a time that was. So this is very much a situation of let's get the old band back together and let's see what fire we can, we can create. And look, I think we all know how amazing of a designer Marc Jacobs is and how incredibly well Kim Jones has done it. Fendi that I have very high hopes for this. Next up, another very cool collaboration that I personally didn't see happening, but I'm happy to report on. Avelage is collaborating with Law Roach. Law Roach is celebrity stylist, artistic director, um, the man behind Zendaya's killer looks. So he is doing a 25 piece collection with Avelage. And what did I say? Avelage is coming back. Thank you very much. I am a fortune teller, as my name suggests. Prices are going to range from $700-ish to $3,000. And from what we're seeing, very cool things, very sort of a Vélagé with a modern twist, which is what we want. We don't just want to see the bandage dresses in black that we saw in 2004. As much as we love those, we've seen them done so many times, and yes, we can pull those out of our wardrobes like this. But really, we want something new, we want something fresh, we want something that um, is a little bit exciting. So I think there's a lot to love in this collection. I like those pieces that have a little bit more layering. Moving on to hot new luxury items. I saw this and I had to talk about it. This is the Gucci Bamboo 1947 mini bag, they're calling it, but it's, it's very cool, hear me out. So this is a cute little structured leather. That leather, by the way, for the Bamboo 1947 range is really, really great. Um, it just looks rich, it's very structured, it, it holds its shape. Anyway, you want to talk about versatility? This is the bag. She converts into a cute little backpack. You can carry her with her bamboo top handle. You can also crossbody the woman. I love it, okay? Five different variations. You've got pink, green, white, black with natural bamboo and all black as well. And I just think I like it. I like that it's different. I like that we can convert in three different ways. I like that you're giving us the options and it looks cool. And it's also very much an ode to this very signature Gucci design. I think it's got all of the elements. A new Saint Laurent bag, the Le 54. Is that 85? No, that's 55. 84. Is it? I was very wrong. It's saint con -Quatre. I did French for seven years, don't remember a thing. Okay, so what I like about this bag is that it's almost a hybrid of two popular trends. First of all, shoulder bag. It, it's very much in the same style of the Saint Laurent Hobo bag that's been very popular. What with the rise of Y2K fashions and us loving a little bit of a shoulder bag moment. But it also incorporates that puffy, quilted trend that we see in the kind of Lou bags and, you know, like a Chanel 19 and things like that. And I think it merges really well into a fun, interesting, but also very easy to match Saint Laurent bag. So there you go. If you didn't know, now you know. And 
And on the topic of Saint Laurent, a category of items that they're doing that I think we're going to be seeing a lot of, especially on like celebrities, hosts, top tier influencers, all of that, are the cat suits. Now, I have told you in my trends video that cat suits are very much a thing, and Saint Laurent is really spearheading it. Well, it's kind of, they've taken what Balenciaga has been doing and done it in a very sort of like 80s way but still looks kind of chic, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's in that sort of like, what even material is this? It's like a spandexy looking like, or it's got like a bit of a shine to it, right? And there are different variations, ones with cutouts, ones with not, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you this now, because once I've told you, you're gonna be spotting this left, right, center, and you're gonna be like, yeah, that's a Saint Laurent piece, madam. There you go, let me know what you thought of this month's segment. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.